All right, we're uh, shaping a new stock for a project gun I'm building. This will be going on a uh, current production, Red Rider 1938B. Plastic uh, lever, plastic trigger. Just a regular gun you would buy at Walmart. Uh, the particular gun that I'm building the stock for is being resto modded by another enthusiast. And uh, basically it's going to be about a 450 foot a second Red Rider. If all the mods that are going to be done to the power plant actually bear fruit. Won't know that until we get it put together and run it through the chrono and see what kind of speed it's ticking. Kind of exciting when you think about it, getting a Red Rider up to roughly double its initial factory velocity of 256 feet a second. It's kind of an attempt to go back to the days of yore in the 30s and 40s when the Red Riders of that era were built. Well, you know, men were men. People weren't so concerned about personal safety. And the uh, spring sets on those guns were quite a bit stouter than what you'll find on current production guns. Now, uh, in terms of what I'm doing with the stock right now, get a shot of the butt stock right here, please. You'll notice there's some uh, lines, pencil lines drawn in. This indicates what the profile we'd like to see will end up being. So to take it from a square chunk of wood that's been cut to the appropriate shape down to uh, the finished look, what we're going to do is utilize a sureform tool, and that's this bad boy here. It's been a favorite piece for woodworkers and auto body shop mechanics for decades because it does, in fact, work very well. What I like about the sureform is that it generates larger particles than sanding or any other system, so you don't have as much dust to contend with. And in the, the hobbyist shop, that's an important consideration. It also gives you a uh, level of control because you can make a couple of passes and stop and take a look and see where you're at check your reference lines on the butt make sure that you're inside the contour you've established for the top of the stock the comb of the stock and you can go back and take a look at the stock itself and see what's what's been sure formed you can tell about the styrations and what has not this little strip here in the middle here is still just like it was when it came off the belt sander now these lines up here denote center line axis of the stock this is actually the piece of wood that will fit into the receiver, and it only needs to be about 90 thousandths wide when we start. It will get whittled down a little bit more to fit the actual receiver of the gun it goes on. These other lines are trace lines, so that we'll know where the uh, wrist of the stock is going to be. We'll contour that to fit the hand fairly well. So we've done the top of the stock. Uh, what we're going to do next is invert it, and then start working on profiling the uh, bottom of the stock. Now this is a multi-stage process. We will go from a sure form tool to a uh, fairly heavy file and from there we'll go to a lighter file or a finer file and when we're done with file work then we'll proceed to sandpaper okay that's what we're up to right now